Hello everyone, this is Dr. Muhammad Shaukat Ansari from your lovely channel Learn English with Shaukat Ansari. Before I move to this lesson, I would like to make a polite request to all of you that you subscribe, share, like, give comments and provide feedbacks to the channel regarding the uploaded videos. Today's topic under discussion is Metaphysical School of Poetry, a topic from History of English Literature. And in this lesson, I am going to provide you the basic ideas of metaphysical poetry. What is metaphysical poetry? And who are metaphysical poets? And why are they called metaphysical poets? And what are the characteristics of metaphysical poetry? Let's begin with the origin of metaphysical term, the, the origin of the term metaphysical. In the first decade of 17th century, there was a revolt against outdated and exhausted Elizabethan poetry. Literary meta means beyond and physics means physical nature. It means beyond physical nature if defined on broader scale it is safe to state that metaphysical is a philosophical concept to describe the things that are beyond the description of physical existence. Now the question is, who coined this term, this word metaphysical? It was John Dryden, an eminent poet and critic who first used the term metaphysics in connection with Dunn's poetry and wrote Dunn affects metaphysics. It was his statement regarding Dunn's poetry. Dunn affects metaphysics. Now it is clear Dryden coined the term metaphysics and later on Dr. Johnson, I mean Samuel Johnson, a poet, playwright, essayist, moralist and above, above all literary critic confirmed the judgment of Dryden with full voice, with full marks. And since then, the word metaphysical has been in use for Dunn, I mean John Dunn and his followers. John Dunn, who was born in 1572 and died in 1631, he was the leader, pioneer and torch bearer. Regarding Dunn, I must say that he emerged as the leader of metaphysical school of poetry and laid greater emphasis on the expression of intellectual, spiritual and amorous experiences in poetry. He preferred to write thought-provoking, startling, and scholarly poems laden with novel ideas, realism towards 
ह्यूमन एग्जिस्टेंस कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड फैशन इंटेलेक्चुअल एजिलिटी एंड ड्रामेटिक पावर हेयर द वर्ड एक्सपोनेंट आई हैव यूज मीन्स वन हु एडवोकेट्स वन हु एक्सपाउंड एन आइडिया और नोशन आई थिंक यू आर फॉलोइंग मी अदर मेटाफिजिकल पोएट्स वेयर जॉर्ज हर्बर्ट बोर्न इन फिफ्टीन नाइनटी थ्री एंड डाइड इन सिक्सटीन थर्टी थ्री एंड्रू मार्वेल बोर्न इन सिक्सटीन ट्वेंटी वन एंड डाइड इन सिक्सटीन सेवेंटी एट हेनरी वॉम बोर्न इन सिक्सटीन ट्वेंटी वन एंड डाइड इन सिक्सटीन नाइंटी फाइव Richard Crasso, born in 1612 and died in 1649. Catherine Phillips, born in 1632 and died in 1664. Richard Lay, born in 1649 and died in 1728. My dear viewers, you are watching Learn English with Sakar Tansari. and this lesson has been tailored for the advanced learners for those students who are majoring english literature as subject in their higher education again i would like to tell you that you subscribe to this channel and make this channel popular among learners of english and it's a matter of great pleasure for me to acknowledge here that this is the 68th video i am doing let me elaborate an understanding about done that done i mean john done is metaphysical not only by virtue of his scholasticism but by his deep reflective interest in the experiences of which his poetry is the psychological expression and curiosity with which he writes of love and religion most of his poems i mean dealt with love and religion here i have used a word scholasticism it means a thought that combines philosophy with catholic theology okay dun who is the leader of metaphysical school of poetry is considered a master of the metaphysical conceit that is intended to combine two vastly different ideas into a single idea that aims to harmonize two different ideas taken from remote ideas into one idea an example of his equation of lovers with saints in a brilliant poem the canonization he also used a conceit comparing two lovers who are separated to the two legs of a compass but on the head they are one they are tightly combined and this idea has been illustrated in the celebrated poem for a valediction for biding morning here in this slide canonization i have used while uh, saying about the title of a poem written by john dun the meaning of canonization is the state of being sainted next let me elaborate here an idea about 
metaphysical poetry and believe me my purpose is to make your understanding clear vivid make you understand metaphysical poetry in short way and in convincing way the metaphysical poets under the leadership of john dunn developed a poetic style in which philosophical and spiritual subjects were approached with reason and often concluded with paradox here the word paradox means contradiction puzzle john dunn let me elaborate emerged as the leader of metaphysical school of poetry and laid greater emphasis on the expression of intellectual spiritual and amorous experiences in poetry he preferred to write thought provoking startling and scholarly poems laden with novel ideas realism towards human existence concentrated passion intellectual agility and dramatic power this passage i have repeated for your understanding dunn's poetry abounded in probing analogies and ingenious wit and recent critics have found in dunn their most prized example of ambiguity and the unified sensibility now come to metaphysical poets other metaphysical poets i mean metaphysical poets heavily dealt with themes like love life death morality and religion in their poems in this regard grierson a great critic and a scholar rightly describes metaphysical poetry as poetry inspired by a philosophical concept of universe and the role assigned to human spirit in the great drama of existence this is a quotation i repeat poetry inspired by a philosophical concept of universe and the role and the role assigned to human spirit in the great drama of existence now it's a important a uh, part of this lesson is that what are the significant features of metaphysical poetry i mean important characteristics of metaphysical poetry the first one metaphysical poetry is increasingly loaded with logical images follow me try to follow me what i say metaphysical poetry is increasingly loaded with logical images number 1 logical images packed with logical images and far fetched conceits which may be defined as the excessive use of similes metaphors paradoxes puns ironies and all these i mean similes metaphors paradoxes puns ironies drawn from the remote and unfamiliar sources so the first important outstanding characteristic of metaphysical poetry is that it is packed with logical images and far fetched conceits 
the uses of concepts aim to bring together the abstract and the concrete the remote and the near the spiritual and the material the finite and the infinite the sublime and the common the metaphysical poets derived images from varied sources such as medieval theology scholastic philosophy the platonic astronomy of middle ages the concepts of platonic love and the concepts of contemporary sciences they employed figures of a speech excessively hugely in their poems they saw acute resemblance in things apparently unlike my dear lovely viewers while watching or viewing this lesson you make pauses and jot down important points for your revision for your insertion into the answer for your exam okay now next another characteristic of metaphysical school of poetry i mean metaphysical poetry metaphysical poetry was purely scholarly and insightful always in appealing mode of intellectuals appealing mode for intellectuals for learned persons for intrinsic men of letters the metaphysical poets we are actually men of learning and to exhibit their learning to demonstrate their learning was their chief objective in poems as w r goodman puts it the metaphysical poets were men of learning and to show their learning was their whole endeavor their gist of endeavor was to demonstrate was to indicate was to signify their learning their knowledge of different sciences of those days different or uh, discoveries this different information uh, of those days i mean of 17th century characteristic number 3 metaphysical poetry was famous for its abrupt dramatic and personal openings my dear lovely learners when i was a student and i was pursuing master degree in english literature i used to enjoy the poems of metaphysical poets which we are prescribed to our syllabus and i used to see with all keen interest that any poem of john dun or other poets metaphysical poets started abruptly it has dramatic start they have dramatic and personal openings and uh, this abrupt dramatic and personal opening marks the advent of personal poetry here we find a man speaking to his mistress or addressing his god or calling us to mark this or see that a nice poem of john dun entitled canonization for instance begins as such for god sake hold your tongue and let me love see the abrupt beginning see the dramatic beginning of this poem canonization composed by john dun
my dear lovely uh, viewers i am presenting this lesson in a nice composition and the purpose is to make you understand make you know make you transfer an idea about metaphysical poetry and this lesson is i have already told you especially meant for those who are majoring english literature as subject in universities or while pursuing higher education and certainly this lesson is an academic piece to all of you and it has it has got an impressive composition with new method with my innovative method come to the next characteristic next feature next trait of metaphysical poetry metaphysical poetry in my strong opinion was agog with was filled with was pregnant with the description of amorous experiences besides other themes metaphysical poetry also dealt with also took up amorous experiences while dealing with love themes the poets used to provide soul searching arguments soul searching arguments and emotion touching feelings and emotion touching feelings i would like to hear cite some names of brilliant amorous or i can say love poems the ecstasy the good morrow a valediction for abiding morning the sunny rising written by john dan marvel also composed penned great love poems some of them are the fear singer to his coy mistress the unfortunate lover the definition of love i repeat various poems of dun like ecstasy the good morrow the valley sorry a valediction providing morning the sunny rising and poems of marvel marvel andrew marvel i mean like the fear singer to his coy mistress the unfortunate lover the definition of love can be cited in this perspective in the perspective of understanding love poems composed by metaphysical poets brilliant creation thought provoking creation of metaphysical poets another uh, feature of metaphysical poetry is some of the metaphysical poets we are even called mystical poets they are termed mystical poets because their certain poems are poetical meditations poetical deliberations of the religious kind in the poetry of dun herbert crasso von there is a stellar expression of a communion with god the metaphysical poets believed that the spiritual is alone the real world 
and that the things of this world are mere shadows. And so it is imperative to deliberate upon various sacred ways to live noble, ideal and honest life. George Herbert, for instance, channeled the metaphysical style into a true and sure devotional poetry. Like Dunn, he married a careful logic to a metaphysical vision. In short, his poems are a reflection of his spiritual beliefs as an Anglican priest and is evident in his collections of poems entitled The Temple. Both Dunn and Herbert depended in their figures of abstract knowledge. I repeat, sorry, I repeat, both Dunn and Herbert depended in their figures on abstract knowledge and ex everyday experience. Pronounce the word knowledge, 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 like market, okay? Some other features of metaphysical poetry are that, number one, metaphysical poems was free from artificial styles. I mean, the style of metaphysical poets was not to be achieved by descriptions, enumerations, copied by descriptions, by imitations, borrowed from imitations and by traditional imagery. No imitation, no copy, no borrowing, but originality there. There was originality in their poems. There was packing of knowledge and information in their poems. Okay, innovative styles were in their poems. And also, metaphysical poems have ideas of platonic love played their part in their love poetry. I mean, platonic love played their part, their important role in their love poetry, dealing with touching upon the soul's resemblance, I mean, sorry, remembrance of perfect beauty in the eternal realm and its spiritual influence. Here I have used platonic love. It means non-romantic love, real love, a spiritual Let me conclude because uh, the lesson is getting lengthy. In short, I must say, I must conclude metaphysical poetry. Count the significant points here. Metaphysical poetry is highly intellectualized poetry. Highly intellectualized poetry. Next, metaphysical poetry is marked by bold and ingenious conceits. Ingenious conceits. Next, it is marked by incongruous imagery. Imagery taken from remote, from different uh, stocks, different sources. Metaphysical poetry is also marked by complexity and subtlety of thought, novelty of thought, ideal thought. In addition, it is marked by frequent use of paradox and also it is marked by deliberate harshness or rigidity of expression. 
my dear lovely viewers thank you very much for being with me thanks for your view again i repeat as a token of my encouragement you please subscribe to this channel learn english with shokat ansari promote this channel among other learners circulate this channel among your friends among those whom you know well among those who are eager for the enrichment of his english language skills and i have uploaded several uh, videos several teaching lessons with an intention to see your english language skills improved and embellished and also i wish to ask you that you derive maximum benefits from this channel thank you very much stay blessed